The following review has been approved by the Best of Classic Game Room. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Kenny Loggins! Kenny, 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 Kenny Loggins! Kenny, 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 Kenny! Kenny Loggins! Welcome to Classic Game Room where I went to the danger zone and all I got was this Top Gun handheld video game, which is surprisingly better than I expected. Let's see why. I love Top Gun. Love that movie, it's highly quotable, the soundtrack is incredible. And it's just awesome in pretty much every way. There's also a great video game based off of it on the Nintendo Entertainment System where I remain the only human being that could ever land the plane on the aircraft carrier. But for the rest of you, not to worry, that scene isn't in this game. It's just straight up action. I'm reviewing this during crappy handheld week, but to be fair, this is not a crappy handheld. It's actually really good for a late 80s, early 90s LCD plastic video game system. This runs on two AA batteries and has a pretty unique design. It looks like an A-Wing out of Star Wars and fits into your hands perfectly. So does an A-Wing. You ever try that? This appears to have similar components to some of the Tiger handheld game systems that I've reviewed, and perhaps it was made by Tiger, but if so, it's definitely their best effort. Ever. I love the artwork on the front of it with the F-14s and the colorful logo, and this plays well. It's a simple game, but simple games are the best kinds of LCD handheld games. Anyone who's ever played Afterburner or Top Gun on the NES before should know exactly what to do here. You shoot down airplanes, boats, and blow up missiles before they hit you, all for points. After each round, the game gets faster and eventually just impossible. The water background looks cool and given the limitations of the late 80s video game hardware here, I think they did a pretty cool job simulating motion with the clouds and the shadows. If you see an enemy on screen, you just move the targeting reticule over it and try to blow it up. It's, it's just that simple. I'm not sure I would recommend running out and buying this game today unless you want to relive your childhood or unless you're Top Gun Super Fan number one like me, which would make you Top Gun Super Fan number two. In addition to some predictable Afterburner style gameplay, Top Gun also comes with the perfect soundtrack for an LCD handheld, the soundtrack of silence because Top Gun already has an amazing soundtrack. So just plug that cassette into your Walkman and prepare for the game to take your breath away. That was horrible, but it had to be done. Now I personally believe they had their casting all wrong in Top Gun. The lead lady should have been Meg Ryan, and Tom Cruise should have been replaced by Bruce Campbell. But they did a good job on the soundtrack. We get not one, but two Kenny Loggins songs, Loverboy, Cheap Trick, The Excellent Berlin, and Miami Sound Machine. Top Gun, the album. Look at that. Incredible. Now you can play this while playing the Top Gun handheld video game, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Kenny, Kenny Loggins, Zone of Danger. Dun -dun -dun -dun. While my breath is being forcibly removed, let's get a shout out and thank you all the way to Fernando in Zaragoza, Spain. Thank you, Fernando, for sending Top Gun and a bunch of other cool games you'll see on the show soon. Perfect for a road trip, perfect for impressing girls at the bar while wearing aviator glasses. It's the Top Gun handheld game system from Konami, highly recommended for Top Gun super fans. I have a loose foot. I have a loose foot. Kenny Loggins. Yeah. Crash and burn, Mav. And play again.